This video demonstrates full model railway automation with train controller goal. This is a test layout built especially for the purpose of testing model railway automation. The intention is to test whether automation software can control not just movements of complete trains, but coupling and uncoupling operations reliably. The footage that we are about to see was recorded in a single take and was run entirely unattended using schedules in train controller. The schedule starts with a locomotive hauled train moving from the back of the layout to the front of the layout. This testing layout is intended to be a microcosm of a full-size layout with a fiddle yard and a station area. The rear of the layout represents the fiddle yard and the front of the layout represents the station. Here we see the locomotive hauled train pulling into the station. The train will reverse here and change engines. The locomotive hauled train and spare locomotive are fitted with easy fit couplings from Dapple. These couplings resemble the larger KD couplers designed for HO gauge models. Uncoupling is achieved using ceramic magnets situated in the track. When the train stops over the magnet, the magnetic field acts on a steel pin protruding from the base of the coupler and opens the knuckles, uncoupling the locomotive from the train. Here we see the spare locomotive emerge from its siding to couple to the waiting carriages. At the same time, the HST moves from the fiddle yard area into the other platform of the station. It and the locomotive hauled train then depart. The locomotives are each fitted with Zeno MX622N decoders. These decoders use a technology called back EMF to allow for very precise stopping position. It does this by frequently sampling induced current from the motor coils to test how fast that the motors are actually rotating to make sure that the locomotive always travels at the same actual speed for any given commanded speed. The locomotives are all profiled using the train controller software. This means that the software measures the time that it takes the locomotives to travel over a fixed length of track at various different commanded speeds. From this information, the actual speed of a locomotive at any given commanded speed can be deduced. The software can thus calculate the distance the train has traveled since it entered into an unoccupied block and stopped just over the uncoupling magnet, or couple up to the carriages without pushing them a long way along the track. These operations are essential for realistic running of locomotive hauled trains. The next set of movements return the layout to its starting position. Firstly, the locomotive on the locomotive hauled train in the fiddle yard runs around its stock by running light through the station area. And secondly, the light engine that hauled the carriages into the platform returns to the kickback siding. Because trains in the fiddle yard area are not part of the scenic section of the layout, it is acceptable for the locomotives to couple to the carriages with a little more force than would be realistic if the trains were scaled up to full size. This allows for a lower probability of coupling operations failing and thus a more reliable fiddle yard automation. Automatic changing of locomotives in the fiddle yard would allow for much more variety in the scenic section of a layout than would be possible with fixed formations as are popular on many layouts. It can also eliminate the need for reversing loops in fiddle yards, simplifying the wiring and saving space. The next movement is a non-stop working by the HST. The HST is fitted with an unknown inferior sort of decoder that probably does not feature back EMF. However, on this layout, the stopping position of the HST need not be so precise as with the locomotives, since the HST is not involved in any coupling or uncoupling operations.
the train controller software is capable of coordinating the movements of multiple trains at the same time so as to prevent collisions. Although not shown on this test layer, it can also control visible signals and other accessories. One of the great advantages of model railway automation is the ability to run the multiple trains at once without having to have multiple operators. The next train movement shows an undiagnosed fault. The locomotive hauled train for some reason stops short in the station platform. The locomotive sends the couple to it and then collides with the rear carriage when it is not fully past the points. This has not happened before or since and the cause of the error remains unknown. The schedule was set to continue for several further minutes with further train movements demonstrating the variety of operations possible with automatic train control but had to be terminated early on account of the error. In spite of the error, this demonstration shows what a model railway automation is capable of achieving, a very different model railway operating experience than that possible some years ago.